Islamic leaders in southeast Queensland say they're being targeted by hate crimes after the increased terror threat level and two arrests of people allegedly linked with fighting in Syria. They've called for calm but say it's causing fear in their communities. Uh, right Ali Kadri and Jamal El Khaled have seen it all before, but in the past week the attacks on their religion have increased. It's appalling. There's a, there is an emotion of fear. There is emotion of, of disgust. There is emotion of, uh, you know, threat to the Muslim community. First, this picture of a pig on Mecca, a place most holy to Muslims, was sent to the mosque. Then a second saying, terrorists born in Australia are not Australians, they're Muslims. We are afraid that for now it's just these papers, these pamphlets, but it could lead to violence. And we are afraid for our families, we are afraid for our children. And it is sad that this happens in Australia. Jamal arrived at the Logan Mosque early this morning to see about 50 pamphlets strewn over the lawn. He immediately took them to police. Our Muslim community, we have very open heart. It's not just been pamphlets, but on three occasions this year, pigs' body parts have been dumped at mosques in Logan and Holland Park. The religious leaders believe last week's arrests of two Logan men on terror-related charges and the federal government's increase in terror threat level has renewed focus on them. We need to condemn extremism in any way, shape and form. And it's, it's very important that uh, you know, extremism against Muslims is also addressed in this country. This is not about religion. It is about people who are involved in... Uh, criminal acts. The Muslim community is planning an information session at the Holland Park Mosque on Friday. 